I just jumped on the other yeah. side. Yeah. The, the Start pulling back cuts out of there too. Like if that's how they go, then that's how they go. Yeah. Um, mm. This time, instead of throwing it back to here, I want both of you to flash. Okay? Point guard should be you. We'll cut through. And you're going to dribble over this corner guard. Great to be back in the South Island and back in Nelson um, where I was born and raised. So, working with the Giants boys and the young locals, it's, it's great to be here. It's pretty special for me. Um, played nine or ten years for the Giants and grew up, that's where I kind of learned basketball and, and going to Giants games with my dad on a, on a Friday or Saturday night and experiencing that and then being able to be a player. And now to be a coach is it's pretty special too. There's some, you know, there's some, been some really good coaches. Giants, obviously, Ned and Vusna, who I played for, but the right guy, the right brothers, and um, the right family uh, as well, and Matt Roscoe and guys like that. There's been some really, really good coaches, so following in some, some strong footsteps. Yeah, I think it is, it is something that's good for former players, you know, a little advantage they have to just know what the players are going through from the day to day grind of being an athlete and, and um, can relate to that a little bit more. And then my experience with the Breakers is. You know, just having that slightly higher level of, of basketball and being able to try and bring that down to the, to the Nelson squad and raise them up a little bit. And uh, the New Zealand NBL is not far behind the Australian NBL, so it's not a huge jump. So um, anything I can do to help these guys get to that level is, is uh, something I'll be happy to do. Anytime you suit up and um, get ready for a season, the, the goal is to win the championship, um, same as the other, the other teams in the league. So. That's our goal, um, but we do have a young team. We've got a developing team and, and some big changes from, from the Giants team from last year. I think five five changes um, of guys that played a lot of minutes. So it's a, it will be a work in progress. And um, you know, first goal is to make that final four. And once you're there, anything can happen. And uh, obviously, Southland and Wellington will be great again. We're top two teams for the last few years. And we want to knock on the door and give them, uh, you know, give them a really good shake this season. So. Want to bring a championship back? It's been 12 years. After, you know, this is the 12th year since we've had a championship in Nelson, so we want to do that. So we've signed, currently, we've signed Daniel Greeter, who's a, a 2 3 guard out of Australia, Perth local, but plays for Illawarra. Um, he's a really, he's only 21 years old, so he's a real up and comer in the Australian league and, and got his first boomers cap in the last FIBA window. So, really energetic guy, good athlete, good size, shoots it well. Um, so, he should be a really exciting player. Second import we've signed so far is Reese Vague. He's played for Perth Wildcats for three or four years now in the, in the Aussie League, but he's still young. He's 23 years old, but big body, 6'9, good shooter, some good post moves. Um, I think he'll be an exciting guy as well. And then in the third import spot, we're, we're looking for a, for a point guard at the moment, so um, still going through that process and hope to have someone signed in the next few days and then, and then on a plane pretty quickly because the season's coming up. Yeah, it's interesting. We've got the young guys, the Cruz Parrot Hunts and Tyrell Harrisons, and then the Greeter and Vague, who are young, young professionals. And then we've got Sammy Dempster, our captain, and Bronson Berry, and Mika Vakona coming back halfway through the season. And those guys have been around for a long, long time, played many, many years. So Mika in particular, obviously, championship experience in the, in the ANBL and the New Zealand NBL. So um, when he comes back mid-season, provided he's healthy from his, from his injury with the Bullets, uh, he's going to be great for us. And, I know he really pushed things over the edge last year with the, with the team and really drove them into that um, playoff success. It's just been a real privilege for me to be able to step into my first coaching job with the, with the Breakers at, at the Aussie League level and, and coach under Paul Hanare and now uh, Kevin Breslow and, and be at that level, which is a level I didn't make as a player, so it's, it's special for me to be able to coach in that league. And then obviously the Tall Blacks is the ultimate honour. Um, should be the goal for every basketball person in New Zealand to be either a player or a, or a coach or an administrator at that level. So I've, I know I've been really lucky and I've had some unbelievable experiences at, at, in my early coaching career. So hoping to bring all the good, all the positive things from those experiences to the Giants and, and you know learn from some of the things that, that maybe didn't go so well for the Breakers and the Tallbacks while I was there. So um, I know I've been really lucky in my coaching career. So uh, hopefully I can bring those things here. Been to Hamill, Carl Ford Centre, subscribe.